so that day, um, I was headed towards, I was headed to my mom's house for Thanksgiving uh, to celebrate with my family and whatnot. And on my way that way, I got pulled over by the police. I didn't know why I was being pulled over. When I asked why, they told me I was being pulled over for a warrant. And they just continued to ask me my name. Once they verified it was me, they pulled me out the car and um, they locked me up and they told me that I had a warrant and I asked them for what and from where. And they told me that I had a warrant out of Jefferson Parish. I asked, where is Jefferson Parish? Because I had never heard of that county. And then they told me it was in Louisiana. Then I, I was confused because I have never been to Louisiana. But also when they told me that my warrant was for theft, I was confused as well, too. I was just locked up for the next week. I asked them why was I being locked up or what? What is it even saying that I did? And then they just kept telling me that it was out of their jurisdiction and they didn't really know. So I basically just had to wait until Louisiana officers would come get me and then I would have more details. I was finding out that I was arrested for a physical theft, actually not like a something that happened online. So I found out that I was supposed to be arrested for something that I did in person in Louisiana. Um, I found out that it happened through a video and that they looked at the video to try to recognize who the people were. Ron had a lawyer based out of um, the Baton Rouge, um, Jefferson Parish area. When we called him about this case, he said, hey, guys, I think I know what this is. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure I know what it is. He said, what y'all can do is send us some, send me, send him some pictures of Karan and let him go down and speak to a detective and speak to someone he knew on the force. Um, in doing that, we he found out and in, 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 in turn told us, hey, they use this facial identity recognition software. And here's what's interesting about Clearview and in their um, agreement with Jefferson Parish, it states we're not to be a single source um, provider, meaning don't use us as the only um, reference for your arrest. And one of the things that we found out is that one, the facial recognition technology is disproportionately affecting African Americans. Um, and that's noted, that's research, everybody, it, it's, it's in the documentation. So um, the other cases that are around, they're, they're dealing with African Americans. So the technology, the industry, the law enforcement agencies know that African Americans are affected more by this technology than white, than, than individuals of a different race. Well, you know, there's always risk when you go to jail, but I felt more in danger when I was being detained because I know it was for something I didn't do. So at that point, I had kind of lost faith in, I, I guess I would say I lost faith in the justice system to know that you could be locked up for something that you've never done in a place that you've never been to as well. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.